So, it's a known fact that I hate creating thumbnails for my YouTube videos because I'm just not good at it. I'm not a creative person, I know nothing about colors and contrast, and no matter how much I try to learn, I can never see what an artistic person sees. And so, the best thing I can do is to simply look at all the thumbnails that I myself like grab the best elements of it, and then try to create one that suits me. But that too was annoying, because for someone like me, it can get very confusing and time-consuming when trying to do YouTube thumbnail research, just because there are so many thumbnails to go through. So instead, I've decided that I should pick only three thumbnails, two from YouTube channels that closely resemble mine, and one from a YouTube channel that I personally like. Then I will throw all three of those thumbnails into AI, give the AI my YouTube video title, and tell it to create a thumbnail based on that information. To do that, I started playing around with Google's new AI, Nano Banana. But it didn't turn out quite well, and it is pretty bad when you give it multiple commands in one prompt. So if I want to do what I want to do, I have to build an app. And fortunately, I can do that easily with Google AI Studio's built app. Now, I won't go into details on what the built app does. You can research that yourself. But I essentially use this to build four different versions of the app I want. And I want to share this with you to show you what works, what doesn't, and what you need to be careful of. Okay, so this is my first version, and all my versions have the same basic function. I have a field where I can input my YouTube video title, and I have three other fields where I can paste the YouTube video URL, which acts as a source of inspiration for my thumbnail. That's pretty much it, simple and straightforward, but does it do the job though? So I'll go ahead and copy and paste all of my input fields first. And as you can see here, as I copy and paste the YouTube video URL, it actually automatically populates the thumbnail image from the YouTube video itself. So this is a really cool feature, something that I didn't actually ask for. It's actually built by the AI itself. Okay, now that I'm done, I'll click on to generate thumbnail and let it do its thing for a bit. All right, so this is the output and I must say, not bad at all for the first version. It just somehow gives the vibe of a typical talking head video thumbnail. It definitely isn't perfect, but this is a great start. Some of the things I do not like is it doesn't really generate a punchy text for the thumbnail. Like, it is okay, but definitely not catchy. And I'm not really sure how they generated that person either. Like. Did they get it by combining all three creators' faces and create a face that closely resembles them? The other thing is it kind of looks like a template taken from Canva. So in some way, it still feels generic. All right, so that's my first version, first attempt, and it already automated like 70% of the work I put into my own thumbnails. But let's move on to version two. Now version two is aimed to fix the issue with my first version, which is that it randomly creates a person in the thumbnail. So in this version, I've put in my YouTube video title along with my three inspirational thumbnails, but I also provided them with an image of myself and told AI to use that image as my subject in the generated thumbnail. So let's see how that goes. Okay, that worked, and now I am the subject in the thumbnail. This is a thumbnail that I can download and use off the bat. And on top of that, AI even changed the expression of my face to match the title of the YouTube video. I mean, if this is not crazy, I don't know what is. But okay, maybe I don't like the text. Maybe I don't quite like the theme. So what I added here is two more fields that allows me to set the text to whatever I want, as well as the thumbnail theme that adheres to my channel's name. So let's say we have a text here that says YouTubers big mistake. And for the thumbnail theme, maybe let's sell it to minim minimalist clean. All right, let's see what that gives us. Okay, I think I kind of broke it. I mean, the text works, the background is minimal, but I don't know why I'm no longer the subject of the thumbnail. So let's try and regenerate the thumbnail again and see if it actually fixes the issue. Yeah, nah, it looks like it's broken. I'm no longer the subject of the thumbnail, which is pretty sad because this looks pretty good. 
But I must say the second version is still really good and those two apps can be created in 10 minutes if you know what prompts to give to the AI. It is definitely not perfect and as you saw then, it breaks and can't seem to recover but it still did a pretty good job on the first few tries. Okay, so my third version is about trying to make the thumbnail less like Canva templates and more like what the inspirational thumbnails look like. And this time, this does not look like a Canva template anymore. It now has a proper background that suits talking head videos. It has additional elements to make the thumbnail pop. The elements are not accurate, but I gotta give it props for actually trying to include them. You may have also noticed that the text has changed a little bit, and that's because I told AI to not use the text from my YouTube video title. So I pretty much prompted AI to not repeat the words in my title and got it to come up with one that complements the title instead. But overall, I think this is pretty good. The person is wrong, but I can always download the thumbnail and remove the person using Photoshop. You may have also noticed that the interface looks a little different. This isn't me telling the AI what to do. AI actually built this without asking me and I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the third version, very simple. I didn't want to add too many features in this one because I noticed that the app built is less stable, less reliable when the app gets too complex. And I reckon the third version is the most stable by far. I can probably make it better, but so far I feel that if you provide the app with very clear requirements from the start, the app tends to work a lot better. For my fourth version, I tried to improve on version 3 and played around with the prompts. By the way, you can actually ask AI to update your app as you see fit. So you can ask to make changes to your app, add new features to your app, or fix anything you didn't like. But there is a downside to this where if you try to keep making changes, whether it is removing or adding features, eventually the app becomes unstable and it will always generate inaccurate thumbnails. That is what I did with my version 4 but I've already applied those changes so I'll show you the result and you'll understand what I mean by broken. Now if you can read code, you'll be able to find where the AI prompt is stored and for this, I asked AI to update the prompt a few times in a very specific way. So first I said the generated thumbnail must feature a different person model than those in the inspiration images, do not replicate the people from the examples. Then I said to add the person's facial expression must directly reflect the emotion of the video title. And then finally I got AI to add if appropriate for the video title, includes relevant objects or props. For a video about a new phone, the person could be holding that phone. That's all there is to version 4 and I find that most of what the thumbnail looks like ultimately comes down to how well the prompt is written. I would say most of the trial and error comes from fixing up the prompt. So anyways, let's generate something and see what it looks like. Okay, this looks good but somehow it looks very... AI. It is very expressive, it is holding some kind of prop, and the background is interesting. It is a good thumbnail and it works if a proper person is generated. The text is still horrible and the props can be better of course. But the thing here is no matter what features I ask to add or remove like to create a more lifelike person in the thumbnail, the app continues to generate me a very obvious AI looking person. It is like no matter how I get AI to change and fix things, it just can't fix the main problem I introduced from asking too much. And I think that was the main issue I had with Google AI Studio building the app. Sure, it works great on the first attempt, but as I try to ask AI to add more changes, the quality starts to degrade, it becomes irreversible, and then you have to start a new build from scratch. Also, the app is not deployable, meaning you can't make it publicly available. So what you saw I built just then can't be shared with you. I mean, technically I can deploy it and make it public available for use but it is full of security vulnerabilities and it is not recommended for sure. But anyways, that was quite a fun experiment for me on how this can automate my YouTube thumbnail creation. It is not 100% automated, but AI pretty much does all the heavy lifting for me and it definitely creates a thumbnail that has better contrast and is more clickable than the ones I made. If you want to see more videos on how I automate my content creation, check out this video here to see how I use AI automation 
automation to automate my YouTube topic research workflow that generates me topic ideas based on how my channel is performing. All right, that's all from me in this one. I will catch you in the next one.